Hi there, it's Sandy Alnock, artist and Bible journaler here on YouTube, and today I'm going to be working on 1 Corinthians 5-7, talking about the Passover lamb in my Lenten journal. I've been working on this for a couple weeks, and each week I show you the things that I've created that past week doing daily art. And the first one that I addressed um, and meditated on was Jesus as the cornerstone, and there is a sketch for that one if you're interested in replicating it. The Rock Who is Christ, there's no sketch for that one, but it's just blobs with water coming down from the, the rock. But I decided to do something different with the rest of the week. There were so many verses in the study that are about the shepherd that it was really interesting to address all of them in a row and really do a deep dive into Jesus as the shepherd. Each one of these was done on a separate day, and then I have journaling on the backs of each one as well and created a pocket in the journal so I could tuck them all in. If you're interested in looking at more of them or getting sketches for them, etc., then you can see the link in the description down below. I've created a web page on my book website that has all of the pictures of what I've created each day and sketches for the ones that have sketches because they don't all have sketches. So to paint this one, I am going to do the crazy thing and not sketch it out. And I know lots of you will sketch it out, so I am going to make a sketch for you after I finish the page so that you can see this and do it on your own if you want and be able to deal with the sheep without having to go without a sketch. Because <laughs> That's what I did, crazy as it might have been, but I just wanted to see if I could just dive in and do it. But I had been looking at old buildings in Israel, just pictures online and stuff, and noticed something that they had really skinny doors. And I thought, well, what if the Passover lamb was standing in the doorway with the lentils marked with the, the blood? Because after I read the first Corinthians, then that took me back to really looking more at the whole Passover story and rereading that and meditating on it. So I was all imbibed in the the story of putting the blood on the, the doorposts and stuff. So that's what I, I got for my idea to do this. So I painted all this really wet paint and I had this vision of having the bottom part of the building as the foundation, that sort of grayish color, and then the top part of the building being all rock. And you could do this without doing any of the pen work that I'm going to do later, but I am going to add some pen to this. But you can see how it gives the impression of being rocks just by dropping in thicker color into this really wet area. So it's just got little blobs all over the place that look rock-like. So now I'm going to add the sheep in here, standing in the doorway. And it looks really dumb right now. It's going to get better. But I am going to be painting negative painting around it. Negative painting is when you're painting everything that's not the object that you're painting. So if this is a dark doorway, then I'm painting all the dark color in behind the sheep. And the sheep shape right now is a little on the clunky side, but the nice thing about it is that I can go in with detail later. I'm using kind of a big honking brush and I can do something else with it in order to, to fix that later on. I had some bleeding going on with the doorway and far from being a person who flips out when a little bleeding happens, I just added more color on other sides of the doorway so that it would feel like I meant to bleed out on that side of the door and made it feel more rustic. And I took a little bit of a damp brush to paint over the back half of the sheep. So just the front half of the sheep is sticking out front in front of the door and the rest of the sheep is in the back like in the in the dark inside the building. And I used a heat gun to dry it all so I could then go in with a second layer. And I'm using much thicker black paint to make the background and a smaller brush so I can go around and refine some of the details on the sheep itself, on the shapes of the ears and the shape of the body, etc and make it look a little more elegant, go into underneath the ears so that there's a little bit more, I guess, uh, form to them. And I was trying to decide whether or not you'd see the back end of the sheep, but look what happens when I paint the thicker black paint 
around the sheep. Now he looks like he's really in shadow. And I can cut into some of the legs by painting a little more black in there to make skinnier legs. Add a little face for the sheep. And now it looks much more like a sheep. Well, maybe, maybe a goat. I don't know. It's supposed to be a sheep. It's a, it's a journal page, so I'm okay with it if it looks like a goat instead of a sheep because I know what it's supposed to be. So then I use some lighter paint, lighter mixes of paint in order to, to do some shading and stuff on the sheep itself. If you're interested in learning how to paint some easy animals, you know, sheep are one of the ones um, if you're interested in particular. I do have a class on watercoloring animals for Bible journalers. So you can check that out. I'll put the link in the doobly-doo down below so that if you're interested in learning how to watercolor, like the sheep are one of the easiest and the most fun because they're super simple and very cute. So I added the red paint onto the lintels of the door. So on the top and left and right. And then I decided to go in with a black pen. You could do this with a Sharpie as well. Or if you're working in your Bible, you can do that with a micron pen because micron pens won't bleed. And I decided to go just make some sketchy lines around the door and the stairs. And then I was going to just do this bottom section of the foundation. And then I was having so much fun with my black pen. This is a fountain pen. Since I'm working on watercolor paper, it can take a crazy fountain pen. My Bible paper can't really deal with that. And as I started moving across the page, I realized I better save room for the words. <laughs> I almost forgot. So I painted the word lamb in red to go with the red blood on the doorposts and then continued working on some of the, the bricks and I let them slowly fade off. I didn't want to cover the entire thing. It gave more air around the words Passover lamb. So that is my little finishing of that page. So if you're interested in seeing more on all of this, the link is in the description down below to go to the page and see all of the pages I've created. And I will see you again next Sunday. It's not too late to join in this Lenten devotion if you're interested. All the information is down below. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>